Okay guys, I'm uh, going to tell you a wee uh, damsel nymph pattern lure, whatever you like to call it. So the hook and the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight wet fly hook. I've accompanied that with a, a 3.2mm fluorescent orange tungsten bead. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 3880 and fire orange. So I'm just going to come in, get the thread started behind the bead, run on about 4 mil take my thread back up and then work my thread back down just going to bring my thread down until I'm sort of way in line with the barb of the hook and remove the, the waist tag now the tail on the fly is just turkey marabou uh, dyed olive it's up there and so you do is just come in and just rip it away just tear the fibers off the stem. Then I come in all the curly bits, trim them away. And then I like to just thin it out just to reduce the bulk. Right, a wee bit of moisture on my fingers. Just give that a wee twist. Offer this up. Just want to tie it in what's the the length of the hook. And then work my thread up. Just securing the, the cut ends in. I want to bring my thread back down. Just open turns up against my up against my tail. And you can have the tail as long as short as you like, but never trim marabou. Never cut up your scissors. Just come in, hold it, pinch it away. I'm going to put some flesh into the tail, and I'm going to use uh, some of this. This is blue UV crystal flash. So I'm just looking two strands. We offer these up. I'll put two strands on my side. Just a couple of turns down. We'll fold the other access two over and tie them in on your side. Nice and tight. Then I'm just going to come in and trim these. Length of the tail. The rib on the fly is a ultra wire, UTC ultra wire in blue. Lovely blue colour. So the length off here from the last fly that I tied. So we'll use this. See my again, just offer it up to your hook. Just going to offer it up the length of the shank. Takes me in behind the bead. My thread back down, tied up against my tail. And the dubbing is going to be an SLF with some flesh mixed to it, just an olive SLF. Great stuff, SLF, dead easy to dub. So, hey, don't worry if you can see some of the fire orange thread showing through. That's part of the fly, that's why I'm using the fire orange thread. I'm just going to work this up the body, right up behind the bead. The body haggle is going to be a grizzle, match grade 2, dyed blue. I'm just going to offer this up and behind the bead. Catch the stem in. I'm going to fold the stem back. Come in and away the stem. Then I'm just going to palmer this down the body. I'm just going to get two turns going at the top and then two or three turns down the body. Should be plenty to there. Follow it around with my wire. Then I'm looking four turns of the, the blue wire up the body. Anything that's going forward or sitting out from the bait from the hook, just sweep it back, bring your wire up in front, follow this around with your thread. Nice tight turns in there, because this is what's holding the fly together, it's the wire. And then you can bend and break away. I'll just come in and trim away the remainder of the haggle. And then you can come in and see what way you're, you're sitting. Not looking too bad. 
I'm just going to put another wee haggle on the front and that's just going to be a olive Chinese cock haggle just like one of the smaller fellers at the bottom it's got the stem the tip sorry it's going to come around with a thread turn catching in the tip I'm going to fold the tip back nice and tight when locate your tip of your haggle you can break it away I'm just going to come in with my scissors just run it up the stem of the haggle if you do that it just helps to, to fold the, the fibers back for you I'm going to use up the majority of this wee feller I'm going to bring it right up tight and behind the the bead get another turn in just keep a hold of the remainder of the haggle follow this around with your thread get a couple of nice tight turns in then you can come in and trim away the remainder of the haggle at this stage just anything that's going forward just sweep it back or a couple of turns of the thread in behind the bead just going to put on some clear varnish onto the thread and then we'll just do one about finish pull the thread tight come in and trim away the the excess and there you go guys that's just my wee take on the uh, wee damsel nymph pattern can't go wrong with them small matters large lakes locks they'll work they'll work everywhere the damsel so to tie a few of them up hopefully they can catch you a few fish as always many thanks for taking the time to view the videos um, if you like the wee videos and putting together uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, helps the channel out, and until next time guys, take lanes.